me any question you'd like. It could be. When I first started uh, boxing. Okay, you want some of these beans, right? What yes, sir. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, is oh, okay, we're gonna let it puff up a little bit more. But right now, when it puffs up a little bit more, we're gonna add the beans too. When it so, puffs up. So yeah, so the beans could get hot and cook with the with the soup as well. And what do you mean puff up like the puff up? It means because right now, as you can see, this the the the, the noodles aren't cooked. The hot water is gonna boil them down so they could cook. Uh, so they're gonna puff up and get bigger. You're I gonna see. see them get right now. They're small. They just watch like in a minute. They're gonna they're gonna puff up and they're gonna get all big. The noodles are gonna get real big. Guys, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a clip of uh, of of Ray hitting the bag or, or sparring. So it'll be maybe at the end of the video or in between. So that way you you guys could see who, who uh, what's his style like, who, how he fights, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So right, right here is Ray. One thing you could straight off tell is that Ray's really fast. He has good footwork, very fast, punches hard. At the moment, there isn't a lot of heavyweights. I feel like we need a new heavyweight. And you're looking at one right now. In a few years, we could have Ray versus Andy Ruiz. That's something that, that I could see. Future heavyweight champion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. By the and, grace of God, man. You know, and I tell people, he reminds me a lot of uh, Andy Ruiz, uh, guys like Benavides. Like he has, I don't know. There's there's guys that he that he thinks he could probably uh, has a familiar style to. Yeah, um, I, 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 um, I if, if I would compare myself to anybody, I, I I like to think that I'm a lot like Usyk. Usyk is a Alexander, he's the cruiserweight champion. He just unified the whole division. He's mm -hmm. he moved up to heavyweight now, but he's a very athletic, big guy. You know, I, I'm 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 six four. You know, so I'm a pretty big guy. So, but I'm not the hugest, but I'm pretty big. So, I, I like to think that my athleticism, my feet work, my head movement, a, a lot of those things are what are gonna set me apart in the heavyweight and, or in the cruiserweight division because I am gonna fight in both. I am gonna. I, I want to be the first Mexican to ever win a title at cruiserweight. There's, there hasn't been a Mexican to win a, a title at that division, so I would be the first. It, and um, so those, those are my goals. And I, I think a lot of my tools as a fighter, they're gonna set me apart. And I, I'll even have a chance to probably even revolutionize the heavyweight fighting style. You know, after after my after people see my style and see the way I fight, I think people are gonna start looking at heavyweights different and seeing that heavyweights we can move, we can have athleticism, we do, we can use head work, head movement, and you change angles and do things that the smaller guys do. A lot of the heavier the heavy guys don't do that now, but. The only guys that you could really think about that used a lot of head movement, feet work, were guys like Chris Bird, Mike Tyson, you feel me, uh, Muhammad Ali, of course, guys like that, you know, that used a lot of head movement, you know, a lot of feet work that basically were quick, the speedy guys at heavyweights. I don't think that a lot of the bigger fighters, they don't understand how important that is as a bigger fighter to use head movement and feet work because all heavyweights, they depend on that power punch, you know, 
they want to knock you out with one blow. But if you use that, if you if you use actual te boxing technique and skill, your head movement, feet work, defensive skills, all that, you will be so much more successful as a fighter. You know, so I think those are the tools that are going to set me apart from the the rest of the, the the heavier guys. And I know, you know, by the grace of God, I'm being trained at one of the best gyms in the world. You know, and are surrounded by the greatest guys. Weddle's one of them. You know, he's an up and coming fighter as well. You know, by the grace of God, together, hopefully, we're gonna have titles, you know, man, maybe not right now, but in a couple years, in a year or two, we'll be fighting for the, you know, we'll be up and coming prospects, hopefully, you know, fighting for titles, you know, so this is what we grind for, guys, this is what, this is what we do, you know. I think these are almost ready, they're puffing up, they're almost ready, we gotta let them puff up a little bit more. They're almost ready, guys, they're almost ready. Oh, yeah, they're hot as shit. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. hot. Oh, that's what you mean, like... Yeah, puff up, see? It puffs up. It, 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 right now, it was flat when I put it, but it puffed up because it's, it's so hot in there, you know? And what's your favorite punch, Rick? My like favorite punch? Uh, well, if I had a favorite punch, I don't I don't think I have a certain favorite mm -hmm. punch. I have a certain series of punches, but um, I, I've learned through fighting that, that you can't be relying on one punch, but I understand what you're asking about. Like, what's your one favorite right. punch? If I had to or say... multiple. Right. If I had to say one favorite punch would probably be the jab, you know, because the jab so uh, is under-acknowledged. I don't think people acknowledge how important the jab is, you know? The jab... My first boxing coach ever told me that a jab could take you around the world, you know? He's so, like, if you have the right jab, it'll take you around the world. And I think what he meant by that is that if you have a really good jab, if you know how to utilize a jab... You know, use it to to, to to build a game plan and to, to to basically use it to for the right reasons against your opponent, you know, when he's trying to attack, when you're trying to back him up. The jab will, will never let you down. So I think the jab is probably one of my favorite punches just because I, ha I feel like, you know, I have a very powerful jab. I feel like I have a really good jab. So at the end of the day, I think a jab would be my favorite punch, you know, besides a straight right hand, you know. Uh, uh, but, but I like the jab a lot, so... Okay, I think we're ready to put these beans in, guys. We're gonna put the beans in. I'm gonna put some of these beans mm -hmm. on one side, which is this side for Wero, you know, because Wero said he likes these, wants to try these, and these are the healthier choice. So they smell, they actually smell pretty good, so. And you, you usually like the Rosarito? Yeah, those Rosarito. are those are basically, and the only reason why I like those because they're Mexican style, you know, really? so, yeah. Is that like usually the one? Because yeah, those are the they're very flavorful. So, oh, because you could tell, huh? Right away, that's yeah. the man. You could tell they look good. Yeah, they're flavorful, you know. So all you gotta do is basically you throw these beans in just to give it like texture, you know. Okay, now, you chef Ray. Ah. Like this. Yeah, you feel me, Chef Rain? You can call me that. Yeah, hell yeah, for times like this, hell yeah, Chef Boy RD. We in here cooking this shit up. We need this right now just to give it flavor, guys. Okay, guys. Put just a little bit more mustard. Oh, this one's open already. No, it might not look too good, guys, but don't worry. This is a lot of, this is a whole lot of flavor going in, so. This is what we do, guys, look. It might not look too satisfactory, guys, but give it a chance. Give it a chance, guys, give it a chance. Smells pretty good. It looks good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Smells pretty good so far. This is the albacore side and the vegetarian beans. This other side is the tuna and the and the, and the hot spicy jalapeno beans. So these will have different flavors. See, as you can see, it's a whole lot of food too. I mean, for such. For a low price too, you could have a whole lot of food. You can save some for the next day. You want to have a little cheat meal or just have a little healthy meal. You don't have to use the beans. You could just use the 
fish if you want, and the noodle and the noodles. So you won't have to add the beans. You don't have to use the beans. The beans are optional. But yeah. You know, guys, this is a good cheat meal after you win a fight. Something uh, like that, yeah. Something. What, 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 basically, you could eat this, at, at, like, say, on Sunday, you want to have a cheat meal, you don't want to exactly. go buy McDonald's or something like that, you could use this, you know? And you won't ha have to put on so much calories to whatever you're eating, you get me? How, so, like, how much calories, like, half of it? Half of it, half of this would probably be 200 calories. 200? That's okay. a little bit, bro. That's, little. That, that's very light for a meal, you know? Considering you have a 2,000 um, uh, calorie intake every day. You know, depending on how big you are, somebody like me, probably 2,500, bro, but smaller guy, probably 2,000, mid 2,000 um, calorie intake every day. The finished product, and what, I, you just, how many times do you recommend? Yeah, just you just do it until you don't see no, no more of that little yellow, the, the seasoning salt. Make sure you mix it in real good. How do you like your tortilla? Now you want it crunchy or you just want it soft? How do you want your tortilla? I'll get it crunchy. All right, that way I won't overcook it or undercook it. And that's good right there, man. Yeah. There you go, guys. Now this is just to make a burrito out of it, you know? You got use or you could use wheat bread if you want to. Or you could use a tortilla, however you want. This is your personal preference, whichever one you choose. Bread, tortilla, it's same thing. Tortilla tastes better to me, so. You guys, we're ready. Right here. or a full one or whatever, however you want to do it, brother. And hey, would you say that's a, that's a good uh, amount? Yeah, that's pretty good amount. Yeah. yeah, you could put more if you want. That's up to you, though. You know, that's a, that's that's a good amount, though. And what you uh, you roll it up? Or yeah, you roll it you up roll like it up. a burrito, and you eat it like that. So, guys, this is how you you roll it up however you want. There you go, guys. That's, that's a burrito. That's right how you make man. the the you healthy can make spread. As much as you're watching. Sir. The healthy spread for boxing. Yeah. Remember, guys. You know, if you have on a Sunday after a fight, or just when you want to have a, a, a nice little cheat meal and you you deserve it, watch. And, you know, this and, is and it. And affordable. And it's and affordable. affordable. How, yeah, it's affordable. Like so, eight bucks. Yeah, and probably. And that was Ralph's, huh? Ralph's yeah, that, yeah. Ralph's was pretty expensive. That, that was pretty cheap. All right, guys. Never forget. Keep punching, no matter what. Keep punching. Sure. Oh. Let me get. Let me get a punch. Punch at the camera. Nice.